If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this the world hates you. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. For I have taken all this to my heart and explained it that righteous men, wise men, and their deeds are in the hand of God. Man does not know whether it will be love or hatred, anything awaits him. Hate evil, you who love the Lord, who preserves the souls of his godly ones, he delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Hate evil, love good, and establish justice in the gate. Perhaps the Lord God of hosts, may be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. If someone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen, cannot love God whom he has not seen. Show me a sign for a good, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. The Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known but he will lay them on all who hate you. He who comes from above is above all, he who is of the earth is from the earth and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all, for I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever, and the bread also which I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross, through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven. The Pharisees and Sadducees came up, and testing Jesus, they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. And masters, do the same things to them, and give up threatening, knowing that both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. For Christ did not enter a holy place made with hands, a mere copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. If you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. This wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, natural, and demonic. Let us behave properly as in the day, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality, not in strife and jealousy. A jealous and avenging God is the Lord, the Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserves wrath for his enemies. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every evil thing. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? For you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death, jealousy is fierce as the grave, its flashes are flashes of fire, 
the very flame of the Lord. For jealousy makes a man furious, and he will not spare when he takes revenge. If two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. If you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. Whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray while standing in synagogues and on street corners so that people can see them. Truly I say to you, they have their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. When you pray, do not babble repetitiously like the Gentiles, because they think that by their many words they will be heard. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and He will reward them for what they have done. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. God is not unjust, He will not forget your work and the love you have shown Him as you have helped His people and continue to help them. The Lord blesses His people with peace. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. May God give you more and more grace and peace as you grow in your knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Come near to God and He will come near to you. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. May the Lord of Peace Himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Choose faith over your fear, stand on the promises of God, and remember who He is. 
then you will experience his peace. Fixing our eyes on Jesus and grounding ourselves in will bring a constant, unshakable and certain peace in our lives. Dear Lord, life is hard right now. Help me draw near to you and keep my eyes on you, not my circumstances. Fill me with your peace and let it wash over me. Remind me of these truths from your word when I am not at peace. You promise us your perfect peace. Help me trust in you and combat the lies of the world with your truth. We love you, Jesus. Amen.